Apologies to uh, those watching this on video archive. Uh, Start to record late into this broadcast. So you're picking up with the score 0-0 after 11 minutes in this 40-minute game. And uh, for those live streaming, you haven't missed a thing. Um, just one of those procedural things where starting the game, there's a few buttons you got to push and missed pushing that one uh, as we were getting underway. And saw number eight, Brooklyn Navarrete now. And the offload to the second row, Sydney Stoltz. Back to Navarrete. And I must commend the Saskatchewan tackling here. They have just been working and working and working. And now this is going to be a try from number three, Taid Haynes-Young. So Saskatchewan couldn't withstand the pressure forever. And that's British Columbia with the early 5-0 lead. Saskatchewan shouldn't hang their heads. They just got to get reorganized and get some possession. They have been starved of possession through this opening 11-minute uh, period. And BC has just dominated the ball at the breakdown. So for Saskatchewan to hold them out for 11 minutes, that's incredible because that was almost all on defense. So let's see what this Saskatchewan team can do. Regroup in goal and have a little defensive strategy meeting. Had a few, so we watch number six, Cassie Baldo, taking this conversion kick. Had a number of people uh, commenting on Ustream, a little frustrated sometimes with the ads, but uh, that's what we have to do in order to bring this to you uh, free of charge. We have to use um, you know the sort of basic systems available by Ustream rather than spending the big money, and that's a good-looking kick. And flags go up, and a big cheer. For the kicker, Cassie Baldo, she hit a tough one there from 35, 40 meters, and that's, you ain't making that up. Boy, that's uh, something she can do all the time, probably. Great for her. So, I appreciate you don't like the ads, but it's just like on TV. Sometimes you got to sit through the uh, boring stuff to get the good stuff, and... Uh, you know, appreciate your support. We've had thousands of viewers so far through the early part of the week. As we get underway here with Saskatchewan, can they reclaim this ball from Georgia Bellamy and start playing with the ball themselves for a little bit? Pick up from number eight, Brooklyn Navarrete now. Crowley getting to that. She spins it right. Just a quick offload to her front row partner. Uh, not her partner, but player, Georgia Bellamy. Now they'll spin it wide. Miss out pass, misses everyone, gets the inside center, CL Arbor Beam. Now a bit of a break up the middle, but plenty of Saskatchewan tacklers there to deal with it. Oh, sorry, we're having uh, picture problems there, folks. There we go. Now, more good work by Cassie Baldo, the young lady that brought us that spectacular conversion kick. Just five minutes till half in this game, and this is what, what it is with these 40-minute formats. You've got to make your plan and stick to it and, and score those tries as quick as you can to uh, come out on the top side of the uh, result. That scrum kind of standing up now. And now that's an interesting kick down the middle of the field. Taken by Chloe Marshall. She manages to offload to uh, number 14. Let me pick up. That's Kayla Hepner. Now a kick through to relieve pressure taken by BC 14. Abhishek Sharabi. She's offloaded to number 17, Gupreet Dalawali. 
and into touch. So just showing how well Saskatchewan is at adapting at dynamic situations. They're able to get wide and make those tackles. And that's good stuff by the Prairie Girls. Uh, overthrow at the line out. Knock on indication from a Saskatchewan hand, says Susan Heald. She'll see if BC can do anything with this. And they've advantage over, I would have to say. Five meters gained off that knock on. Now spinning it, the uh, replacement scrum half, Amara Lowney, stepping in for Nicole Crowley, who was tied up. And now the offload to the outside center. She'll score. 30. <laughs> Madison Gold. That's number 13, Madison Gold, scoring for British Columbia. To make that 12 nothing, about three minutes to go until halftime. So, good bit of pressure, overloading on the right side, and the offload from the player who was tackled, just well-timed, and uh, into the arms of Madison Gold, who finished off the last five or six meters with... Um, just a straight up run and touching down over the line. So two tries on the board for British Columbia and it'll be Cassie Baldo to see if she can repeat that fantastic kick she had a couple of minutes ago. She's running back and eager to take this one. Oh my goodness. A couple skips to the left and a little shimmy shake. She's got a whole routine here. Fix your hair. <laughs> There's a lot going on there for this kick. I'll have to cry foul if she does lip gloss or anything. Then that's too much. And now she is ready for her approach. Gives it a mighty thump, but that's going to curl to the left. And so it'll stay at 12 nothing with our final minute ticking over on the clock. She gave it a good effort. Now Saskatchewan, they may have to pull something out of the gadget playbook and do a short line out, or not a short line out, short kickoff. Try and get this ball because every time they restart this, they just never see the ball again. And I'm sure that they can play some great rugby, but they need the ball first. And uh, BC is just holding on to it for such long stretches. And some fearless running right from the kickoff here by the second row, Alexandra Martin. And now that's Brooklyn Navarrete not shirking away her contact responsibilities and Baldo now she's giving it a good go she's gone two or three meters pick and drive again just simple effective stuff as Saskatchewan trying to hold up Chantel McLean she finally goes to ground ruck form and look at that just like they've been uh, doing all game long pick and drive pick and drive it's not attractive but it works Cassie Baldo just puts a hand into touch, and that'll be halftime here at Field One Calgary Rugby Park. British Columbia is uh, leading this one. Let's put the scoreboard up there for you, folks. Twelve to nothing, and we're going to take a quick break and reset at halftime. Thanks. We're watching back in a bit.
So, quick halftime break for these young ladies in a 40 minute game. They got a second 20 to go here. Saskatchewan down 12 to nothing to British Columbia. And um, really, I think Saskatchewan is still in this game, honestly. They've just got to really start working hard at the breakdown to steal that ball. And I think that's the best part of BC's game is ball retention. They're just not spilling it. They're keeping their passes simple. The pick and drive very effective. They're turning, presenting that ball back. And uh, you can't argue with that kind of formula. It's working for them. They're not dominating Saskatchewan. That 12 nothing score suggests that. And now that kick goes past one BC player. And now that's 21 Lauren Sargent. And she's a good soldier and passes that ball along. She's acting as the scrum half, replacing Nicole Crowley in this second half. Sydney Stoltz taking first up contact. And now Sargent, a bit of a miscue to the hooker, Krissa Perez. And now they're getting under a bit of pressure. They're, they're falling back, but here's a gap. And now well-timed pass down the line. And that's Ciel Arbor Beam. And back to their formulaic pick and drive here. And that's Baldo now, our kicker. In the first half, she hit a terrific conversion kick from hard on the angle and now that's uh, Nicole Crowley has moved to the fly half position to use her boot a little more effectively and maybe start putting Saskatchewan under more pressure now here's some good stuff from Saskatchewan back three Chloe Marshall taking that into contact quickly picked up by Spencer Bolt the scrum half now can Saskatchewan retain possession? They've got some numbers out wide. They got a three on one overload. Must pass that, and they have. Now they got one, oh, and a forward pass. Oh, I don't know, that didn't look like that was forward at all. And that's gotta be heartbreaking. They had two going down the wing, one player to beat, and they looked on for their first try. So Susan healed, feeling like between her and Nathan Ablenauer, they saw a forward pass. And uh, two sets of eyes, I guess, can't be wrong, as we have a replacement for British Columbia, Khadijah White coming on. And uh, we'll just see who's coming off. Player with a little bit of, we've got uh, number 20 coming on for BC as well, Adrian Sari. And so that's the prop, Georgia Bellamy, and the second row, Alexandra Martin coming off. And, uh, so BC trying to uh, get their, sorry? So we're underway here. Put in by Lauren Sargent, miscue to the midfield, stepping through a couple of tacklers, CL Arbor Beam. And off a Saskatchewan player. We'll have a scrum at center. DC will put it in. And now that'll be uh, Sargent getting it in. And a pickup by Baldo around that right side of the scrum. Pass going to Madison Golden out wide here and uh, BC eating up meters of territory at a time. Folks, if you hear whistles uh, behind us, or you know, whistles and you don't wonder why the players aren't stopping. There's games taking on, taking place right behind us. That's Saskatchewan trying to stop this forward progress by BC. That is some great individual work by the BC forwards. Nicole Crowley receiving that at first five eights. And now the inside center CL Arbor Beam is into contact. Here's a more up front running here by British Columbia. Sargent, straight pass back to Chantal McLean. She finally goes to ground. 
Now that's the hooker, Krista Perez. And that's nearly to the goal line. And Saskatchewan under big time pressure now. And that's probably going to be a try. Is that over the line? And it's got to be right at the line. And no indication now. And now a penalty. Not releasing the tackled player as the call against Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan only has to go back to the goal line in this situation. And now Chantal McLean showed she was going to pass but kept it instead. And now hands in the ruck by BC. So Saskatchewan, a bit of relief, but that clearance kick is not going to help their cause. Gathered in by Crowley, and she is going to try and ch oh, that mm, chip and chase, but no one really there to chase. Saskatchewan getting there first, touching it down. It'll be a 22-meter dropout. Good thinking, but I don't know that she had someone that was running on to that fast enough to uh, complete the play. Couple of Saskatchewan players getting ready to go on. That's uh, Juliana Cornish. I believe she must be related to uh, Dick Cornish. Uh, number 19, now Allie Paulson going on as well. So we'll have a line out here and these players will get involved almost immediately. Now coming up to the 22 meter line, Hannah Morton. Sydney Stoltz into the line. She's done well, staying on her feet now, five meters out from the line. BC with a huge overlap out wide, if they can get it out that far. Seal Arbor Beam now taken down. This is where I commend Saskatchewan tackling, but a penalty, and it could be a yellow card now healed. The only time off, and she has been piling up the penalties on the Saskatchewan team and uh, may have seen enough, calling out another player, I think. It's a yellow card. See, she's gone to her pocket, just trying to find the perpetrator. And so we do have a yellow card for Saskatchewan. So if they didn't feel under pressure before, it's going to be even more now. I'm just going to adjust this camera for you, Matt. We've got a little, we're off target there just a little bit. I think that'll help us. There you go. So now BC doesn't have to run upfield. Number 16, Kijija White getting right to the line. Saskatchewan, I think, has held that up. They have, but it will be scrum to BC. Sarah Gahan in the sin bin for a couple of minutes, uh, 10 minutes here. Uh... And uh, we're just seven minutes into the second half as we have a BC scrum here. So they'll have to make some adjustments in the uh, scrum, I think, for Saskatchewan. So now we're going to have number four, Taylor Corrigal, going on for the hooker, Anna Poye, at the next stoppage for Saskatchewan. Now, indirect penalty, taking a chance away for BC. They're boring in on the scrum there. And there's Saskatchewan making a good first up run. 
That's from number three. Jenna Appleby. Another penalty coming in from the side. So Saskatchewan playing short-handed, but penalties starting to uh, pile up against BC now. Advantage being played again. So we could likely be in a situation where BC is going to get a card if they're not careful. Offside the call there. And now it's 19 for Saskatchewan playing the scrum half spot. Just trying to pick up it's Ali Paul Ali Paulson. Is that ball being stolen? No. Oh, Pearson uh, or Heald didn't see the ball coming out there on the other side, so unplayable. And so it'll be scrum to Saskatchewan. And now we're going to have this change in the front row. I think. It's going to be uh, Anna Poye coming off. She didn't know she was coming off. And now they'll move a second row player into the front row to uh, maybe match up size-wise or maybe overmatch British Columbia. Tactical move here by the coach in the uh, midway point of the second half. Just about to tick over to our last 10 minutes of this 40-minute game. So I feel like Saskatchewan should be fairly happy just yeah that's that's a better centered shot that's great and look at bc just getting stood up and a penalty coming that could be against saskatchewan it well it will be because it's a bc um advantage being played and it's an indirect penalty and it's a feed to the scrum bc now intent on making things happen in the final minutes of this game cassie baldo tapping and going and chantel mclean Getting that out to uh, Khadija White. Ball presented back cleanly to Sargent. And now kicked down the field. Lone Saskatchewan player. And it went back. Is the indication from Heald. But she is immediately wrapped up by a pair of BC tacklers. Saskatchewan cavalry arriving. Trying to help their mate out. And now penalty against... BC not releasing the tackled player. There's a couple of them swarming. I think it was fullback Chloe Marshall back there. And uh, so a bit of relief here for the Saskatchewan team. So touch found as we have another Saskatchewan change coming up. It'll be Danica Pedrick going on. We have 22 for... Uh, British Columbia, Lydia Torenberg coming on as well. And we'll see who they're replacing in a second. So some fresh legs in the final minutes of this game. See if that will make a difference for either team. And so that's the wing for Saskatchewan coming off. Uh... Kayla Hepner, actually she was probably playing in the forwards even though she had that wing number and the second row Sydney Stoltz for BC coming off as well and Saskatchewan doing well to make those tackles but BC keeping the ball that ball's gone to ground and uh, stayed BC side oh and that's a big that's going to be a try by Cassie Baldo the kicker for BC and she makes her job just a little bit easier, scoring onto the posts, and that might be the final blow to any kind of comeback for Saskatchewan. Third try for BC, pushing the score up to 17-0. <clears throat> and there's going to be 18 minutes, uh, or eight minutes rather, left in this game for them to uh, try and score three tries. That's a tall order for Saskatchewan. After the hard work Baldo did, she now has to kick her own conversion. Some people have to do everything on their team, and she's one of them. Score the try, kick the conversion. So folks listening in Saskatchewan, not a particularly poor performance by Saskatchewan. They've done really well defensively, just 
very few opportunities with the ball and that's down to BC maintaining possession so well and uh, you know short of breaking the laws you know there's not much that uh, they could do to get that ball back and the flags are up and so that'll make it 19 nothing. So the yellow card player. So remember, this is all during a period when Saskatchewan is short a player. So uh, it will be Sarah Gahan waiting to get back on to uh, even things up for Saskatchewan. And the restart doesn't go Saskatchewan's way. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Yeah. And so either way, it'll be scrum back at center for British Columbia. Now we have another replacement for Saskatchewan. It'll be number 13 going on. Aaron Boland. And coming off is number 20, Kate Dupuy. These numbers, I, I can't always tell what position they were all playing in, folks. Sorry about that. Sergeant gets that ball in, but... Uh, not sure what that indication is from Hield, but they'll have another scrum. And now the, the player that was Sinbind is back on, Gahan. And so 15 on 15 for the last five minutes of this game. Number 19, Morgan Walker coming on for British Columbia. She'll replace a front row player, probably uh, Taid Haynes-Young, who scored a try earlier in this game. And one big fan for oh no that's the uh, hooker Chris Perez that's come off oh and great tackle by the scrum half uh, 19 for uh, Saskatchewan Paulson she's immediately knocked over as she was getting up as well now another penalty hands in the ruck lying around the ball and BC thinking it's a penalty for them and uh-uh, you got to back up 10. Leave that ball there. Thanks very much. And Saskatchewan now taking quick ball here as they're desperate to get some points on the board. In the dying minutes of this game, Jen Appleby. That ball's come out the side of the ruck. Stolen by British Columbia. So there's a problem for Saskatchewan, you know, just not getting the possession. Tight Haynes Young now. And oh, that's a good bit of running from Khadija White. Straight hands down the line now. And BC working hard for their yards. Saskatchewan mopping up all that offensive output and making their tackles. Lydia Torenberg now keeping that ball alive with a nice pass. Sargent to Chantal McLean. She's rebuffed immediately. And, uh, you know, gang tackling by Saskatchewan, very effective. Two players for every BC player locks that ball in, so there's not a lot of free flow going on there. As CL Arbor Beam is brought to ground. And now, nice fling pass outside lane now. Oh, nearly a high, awkward tackle. And, uh, oh, those two girls are going at it a little bit on the sideline right in front of Nathan Abdenauer, the assistant referee. And feisty stuff from Avishak Sharabi and the Saskatchewan player. I want to say it was uh, maybe number seven. The player just got Sinbin. <laughs> And now we have two more players, 21 and 25, coming on for Saskatchewan. Sydney Kistmer and Inyalt, Inyalt Hake. It's the best spelling we can get from the uh, coaches, so not much we can do there. Sorry about that. And miss fire there at the line out. 
not straight. BC's got the option. Do you want to have a line or a scrum? They've been doing pretty good at scrum time, so they'll take it in 15. Lauren Sargent gets that in cleanly. One hopper into Nikisa Lavelle's hand. Now oh, that's uh, Seal Arbor Beam. Getting it around the corner now. That ball comes straight out from the ruck situation, immediately picked up by a trailing BC player. I'm gonna see a BC player sort of crawling and in some discomfort, trying to stay out of the way. And now she slowly gets to her feet. So Saskatchewan leaving their mark on these BC players. Oh, the, the dummy pass sold well. And now wrapped up immediately is Madison Gold. As she was looking to make a pass, she was tackled. Two players out on the left wing there. And that'll be a good bit of running by 14. Avashag Sharabi. She uh, nearly got pulled down at the try line. She had one outside of her in case she needed to offload, but that wasn't needed. So it's 24 to nothing, and that'll be probably the last play of this game as the clock in the stadium showing 40 minutes. So Baldo, uh, Looking more like Nick Faldo, the golfer, lining up a putt here. She's got the uh, whole angle going on. Oh, I'm just getting the grimace from uh, cameraman Matty. He's not liking my lines this morning. you got to start drinking coffee if you're going to be owly in the morning. Cassie Baldo. Yeah, you, you knew I dug deep for that one, Faldo and Baldo. She hit a great conversion from out wide in the first half facing the other uh, posts but she has got a bit of a leg here if she can just curl this one around it'd be a nice feet and uh, now she's like on the balls of her feet she's got a real interesting approach and then oh that's going to fall wall short but that will be full time and uh, so British Columbia in a very workmanlike victory 24 to nothing over Saskatchewan Saskatchewan girls should not hang their heads in this loss I think they did really well and uh, a lot of positives to take away from this. Uh, you know, if they didn't tackle the way they tackled, I think this BC team could have run 40 or 50 points up on them. And that's kind of a backhanded compliment it might sound like, but we've seen some real lopsided scores here and Saskatchewan kept BC in touch throughout this game. So that's gonna do it for us from field one until 10.30, next up game. It's going to be Quebec versus Ontario 3, under 18 men. We'll start to stream a couple of minutes before kickoff. You're watching National Festival Rugby on the nationalfestivalrugby.com website and rugbycanada.ca, and we appreciate your support, and we'll be back with that action coming up uh, oh, about 40 minutes' time. Bye for now.